YouTube Chicks <laughs> Get ready You know what to do Chicks so listen, Chicks Smooth Hey Chicks Smooth Appreciate all the coverage that you been doing I've been watching your shit for a while I just subscribed to your shit too bro Oh man, you gotta watch the way you treat and talk to people. Sometimes other people are watching and taking notes. Now DJ Vlad has been causing some controversy this year. Most recently was him getting into a back and forth on Twitter with Marlon Wayans. After trying to do an interview with Marlon Wayans, Marlon Wayans told Vlad, yo, I want 40k and also partial revenue of the interview. Now Vlad felt like Marlon Wayans was not worth 40k. He went online to clown him saying, yo, your last three interviews have not even done half a mil. I'm not about to pay you 40k. I'm not going to get my return on investment. Well, Marlon Wayans then went on to do a million plus views in a day on Shannon Sharp's platform. Vlad actually ended up apologizing to Marlon Wayans for the disrespect and the back and forth. Anytime you bring a private issue that you have with somebody to the public, it can sometimes deter other people from working with you. Now, other people have their own issues with Vlad some people feel like vlad is a culture vulture some people did not like the issue he had with farrakhan and other people just feel like vlad does a lot of sneaky shit today uncle luke took to instagram to tell everybody yo i'm not rocking with vlad i'm not doing no interviews vlad don't hit me just last week uncle luke actually won a court case that actually awarded him copyright to music he made as part of the group 2 Life Crew. He lost ownership of the music catalog in a bankruptcy years ago. So obviously, if you're DJ Vlad, this will be a great story, a great interview to have on your platform. What up, this is yours truly, Uncle Luke, just leaving the federal courthouse. I got some good news for y'all. 2 Life Crew, all of our albums, we won. We got all our shit back from little Joe Weinberger. All of it. On the albums, we got them all back. Yes, we won. Hey, God is so good. You just gotta believe in him. Looks like Vlad tried to reach out to Uncle Luke and here was his response. I will never do Vlad TV. Hey, if Vlad listening, I will never. I don't need that in my life. I, I would never do some fucking white boy TV show who gets off on lying about black artists. Fuck that. You can't offer me no money. You can't offer me a motherfucking thing. I gotta tie my shoes. Never. Don't even call. I know you gotta try. I know you gotta try, but don't ever, ever fucking call me talking about you want me to do some fucking bad TV. I get on here with all 58 people and, and feel comfortable with that before I get on some shit show where you're gonna have me on there exploiting someone. Nothing comes good out of that. There's too much hate going on right now. Let a guy get on there and talk shit about me. Another bunch of lies. Should have asked me then. Come on here, on there. It's the rebut what those people said. But you didn't do that. You let that marinate. And so fuck Glad TV and everything it's all about. I don't need that shit in my life. Now, funny enough, Uncle Luke has actually done an interview with Vlad TV. Vlad and Uncle Luke actually sat down for an interview, but years later, their relationship soured. Back in 2022, Uncle Luke actually called out DJ Vlad for doing an interview with his former bandmate Marquise. He was not a fan of the topics that Vlad asked him, and he also felt like Vlad was taking advantage of him when he was at a very low point in life. He actually hated that interview Vlad did with Marquis so much that he actually thought about suing Vlad. So if you're Vlad knowing that you have this kind of history with Uncle Luke, 
I'm not really sure why you would reach back out to him for an interview when he already trashed your platform. Now, despite all the hate Vlad gets from certain people, every other week on his platform, Vlad is sitting down and doing interviews with a hip-hop legend or a black comedian. Maybe this was Vlad's way of trying to extend an olive branch, trying to hopefully mend his relationship with Uncle Luke, but does not seem like Uncle Luke is going to budge. You guys get in the comments below. What do you guys think about what Uncle Luke said about Vlad and his platform? Post comments below. Scratch my channel like this video. I'll see you guys later, man.